So today we're working on this Boston pencil sharpener, this electronic one, as you can see here. It's model 18. I think the model 19 is also pretty similar, but we're having an issue and let me show you what the issue is. So when I try and sharpen anything, you can hear that there is some humming. So it sounds like the motor is working to some extent, but it's not actually sharpening. It's not actually engaging the sharpener mechanism in there. So let's figure out what's going on and uh, get this thing fixed. Let's open this up and see if we can find out what's wrong. So as you can see here, there's those three screws we want to take out. And actually, the smart thing to do would be to actually take out this little tray first. So if there's any shavings in there, we don't make a mess. Good thing we did. Now obviously we want this thing unplugged and de-energized. So I think we just pull up here. Well, I found the failure point. Looks like this gear is no more. No teeth. So let's order a replacement one and get this thing back up and running. So the replacement came in, it was $10 for this. I almost questioned whether or not I should have done this repair because the sharpener probably isn't even worth that, but it was a gift from my grandfather, so the sentimental value far exceeds the, the price. I wanna make sure everything looks similar. Looks good, same size. So let's install this thing. I think we'll need to take out these screws here so we can slide the gear onto that shaft. Perfect. Put that down momentarily. Lots of moving parts here, figuratively and literally. So now I believe the gear went like this with the raised side toward the front. Put that in, just like that. And then we'll put this mechanism back through. Try and line everything up. Actually, I wanna make sure that this will fit and also show you. So as you can see here, it's keyed like this. Okay, that's a good, that's a good fit. So now we just gotta make sure it goes in like that. So when all is said and done, it should look like this. See if we spin it, the sharpener now moves and engages. Let's start putting this thing back together. And unfortunately, I didn't come prepared. I don't have any oil here. I would actually like to put a little bit of three in one on this gear here, just to help it last a little bit longer. Who knows, I mean, this one probably lasted 20 plus years, the original one, so I hope this new one that was 3D printed will last just as long, but a little bit of three in one wouldn't hurt.
All right, now I personally want to test this to make sure I didn't put anything in wrong and everything is working properly. So if you want to be safe, reassemble everything first and then test it out. But I got to, I'm going to do it this way. Obviously don't touch any of these wires and we should be fine. Let's do a little test. Here's my pencil. I'm gonna hold this safely so I don't get uh, my fingers caught in the gears. What do you say? I think that's fixed. Let's reassemble it. Now to put everything back, You can see this little notch here is for the wiring. So we'll just have this sit in there. Something like this. Actually, it's gonna be a little bit easier if we do it upside down. So here's the front of the sharpener. I'm going to rest the sharpener in here. Make sure none of the wiring gets caught. Make sure it's out of the way and just kind of pushed in down in the back here. Very good. Just like that. And you can see here, there's this little notch here for the cord that will hold that in place. Now we can put on the cover and put our screws back in. And that's it. If the video was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Everything I use in this video, including the parts, will be listed below. That way you can find it easily and fix your sharpener. Give it a couple more years. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.